Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to our channel. Again, I am Eduardo Gulpan and in today's video guys, I am going to show you on how I created my dashboard just like this one. So as you can see, I have a results for today and the month to date as well as the year to date result. So how to do this? If you are still interested, please watch this video until the end and please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. So we will create another query and also another form so the query this will be our source so to create go to create menu and then query design so we only have one table the loan okay then what we need is the loan date bring down and also the loan amount so these two columns then we will add a calculated um, columns for this so this would be the month to date okay so well, let's type MTD we will format the loan date into month and year so just like this format loan date comma then MM this is for the month then and ampersand sign this for the dash and again, ampersand, this is for the year. Okay, something like this. Click OK. And let us check. And here we go. So, September, okay, September 2023. And this one, May 2025. Okay, 5, 2025. Now, let us create also. This will be the criteria for our year to date. We will copy this. Then shape press F2. Okay. Loan date. Okay. This one. Okay. Then click OK. By the way, sorry, I will change this to YTD. And here we go. So this will be our criteria, guys as well as this one the current date okay so i will close this and rename this as release loan analytics okay then after that i will create a blank form go to the design i will change the uh, outline okay I will change this to yes pop up then no no I will make it center yes okay let's check okay, this one then I will add a okay I will add a text box so this is for the current date the month to date and the year to date result This one would be 20. Okay. And then I'll make it center. And also the margin. I'll change this to 0.05. Okay. Or 0 0.08. Okay. Something like this. Then also this one. And I will copy into 3. So this is for today. This one is month to date. Okay. Then I will adjust the space or the width. Okay. The width is this one. as well as this one 
this is it. Okay. I will make it solid. Okay, solid. Okay, this one. Let's check. Okay. Now let us put the code, guys. Okay, click this and then go to the data, then control source. Click these three dots. Okay. So let's type this sum. Loan amount. Then, the next parameter is the domain. This is the name of the query, guys. This one. So let's copy that. Release on analytics. Then, um, in close with double quote. Then, comma to proceed another parameter. So this is the criteria. So the criteria would be the loan debt. Okay. Then equals, then double quote, and okay, that so enclose parentheses. Let's check. Oops, no result. Let us go back. Okay, I forgot, guys. Okay, here I forgot to put double quote. Okay, let's check again, and here we go. So, 2,200. Let us check this one. So, current day today is May 12. So, 1,000 plus 1,200. So, 2,200. By the way, I will change the format into standard. Okay, here we go. I will save this as dashboard. And here we go. So now let's proceed to the month to date. And on our um, criteria, criteria will be the MTD. Okay. So here again, uh, the same procedure. Let's go back to the data then. Click these three dots of the control source. Then let's type the sum. Okay. Then uh, loan amount. Then the name of the query, which is the release loan analytics. Then the criteria is MTD. The month to date, then equals at this time, guys. We will add a single quote before the double quote because this is not a number, this is a string. So, every time our criteria is a string, so we will put a, um, a single quote to avoid some errors. Then, ampersand, then the um, criteria is date okay something like this but we have to format this okay we have to change the format according to according to the format of MTD which is month dash year so let's say format okay then um, mm then um, dash Then another double quote for Y Y Y year. Okay. Then since this is a string, we will add a double quote with single quote at the center and in close. Okay. Let's try. Here we go. So five thousand two hundred. I mean fifty two thousand two hundred. So me. Okay, 50,000. So, this is correct. So, let's proceed to the year to date. <coughs> okay, click the three dots. Again, equals this sum. Then, 
a loan amount. Then the name of the query again, the release analytics. Then here our criteria is the YTD. YTD. Then again we will add a single quote, then double quote. And let's format format. It. Then why why why? Okay. And okay. double quote single quote double quote. So we need this because we have here a single quote. So because this is a string, as I've said. Okay. And here we go, guys. So this is the total for the uh, for the whole year. By the way. I will lock and I will test. Okay. So, so let's try to change the the year of my computer. <coughs> okay, for example, I will change this to 2026. I'll close this. I will open again. So there's no result because the current year of this computer is 2026 so let's change let's go back okay close open again here we go guys so i hope this video guys helps you a lot and if you have some questions feel free to comment down below i'll try my best to answer that and if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Guys, that's all. Thank you and see you to my next video.